Now, not all gears are meshed together in such a way to multiply speed. Sometimes, instead, they multiply force. If this is the driving gear, that makes this the driven gear. And you know that there was a ratio before of five to one. Now, if I turn this, I have to turn this around five times to get that to turn around once. So that's a ratio of five to one. We have to turn the black one five times to get the grey one to turn once. Why would you want to turn something slower? Sometimes a machine makes things spin very quickly and you actually want the output, whatever's being driven, to go a bit slower than that. So think about when you're in your car, when your engine revs in your car, it can get quite fast. It can get to, you know, 5,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 revolutions per minute. That's a lot of turns per minute. Do you necessarily want your wheels to turn that fast? Not if you're driving around town, you don't, because you'd end up crashing into things. You'd just be driving way too fast. So our gears actually help to slow down the engine speed, but not just that. This is not a speed multiplier, but it is a force multiplier. So if I turn this one on the left, this is going slower, but it can actually output more force. You can actually do more work with it. So if I grab hold of the axle and I grab hold of this axle and I try turning both of them at the same time in opposite directions. Okay, okay. even though I'm right-handed, my left hand is actually winning. I can't stop it from turning the other one. And you can try this yourself. That's a force multiplier. 